Hi everyone, it's Lauren and today I wanted to talk about A Girl is a Half-Formed Thing by Amy McBride. This book won the Women's Prize for Fiction last year and so that's what made me want to pick it up and it sounded really interesting. It tells a story of a girl whose brother has a brain tumour when he's a child and it is about how that effect causes ripples throughout her life as she grows up from being a child through going to school, through going to college and leaving home and not only about how it affects her relationships with everybody around her but specifically how it affects her relationships with men, with her father, grandfather, uncle and then men that she has sexual encounters with later when she's an adult. This was a very difficult book for me to read, not just because of the content being quite upsetting and often very graphic, but actually the structure of it was written in a very, very different and quite challenging way. It is very difficult to describe this book, but basically the way it is written is probably the most honest, most realistic um, narrative of what actually goes on inside someone's head that I have ever read. If you think about how you approach situations and what happens in your head when you are faced with problems, you don't really think in full sentences, so this isn't written in full sentences. This does mean that it is hard sometimes to work out exactly what's going on, especially in the early chapters of the book when she's very, very young, because her thoughts are sort of all over the place. Despite it being a challenge to read, I felt that because it was written in that way, it really hit me emotionally, and I felt like it was a very, very effective um, way of allowing the reader to empathise with the girl who's narrating the story. I personally found this book incredibly moving. I do feel, however, that that is because I identified with it very, very closely. Um, I have a younger brother, and the relationship between her and her brother seemed very, very similar to the relationship I have with mine. I have been through school and found it difficult, as she did. Um, I have left home and gone to university and I've been through all of those stages of my life so when she's recounting how she grows and changes I felt like I understood what she was talking about. That doesn't mean that if you're younger or you haven't gone to university or you didn't find school difficult and you were just amazing that you wouldn't identify with her but I feel like that's particularly for me why I felt so engaged in this story. I wouldn't recommend this book if you are a big reader of YA and are looking to get into adult fiction this is, this is hard to read, it is very, very difficult to get through and it, I did have to push myself for, through the first few chapters. After I got used to her style of writing, I felt like it was fine and I really felt like it paid off in the end, um, at the end of the story. But it, I mean, it was hard, it's not a really, really easy, quick read. But if you want to try something new and you want to challenge yourself and try a different type of writing, then I would really suggest picking this one up. It's not very long, and if you try it and you feel like you don't like it, then that's fine. You, you know, it, it, it's a very weirdly written book. There's not very much grammar, there's not very much punctuation. Things, certain thoughts are repeated a lot. She jumps around, and you can't, sometimes it's hard to work out whether she's talking about what's happened or what's happening now. I mean, it, it, it's not a very simple, straightforward book, but for me, that I really loved it anyway. I think if you can get past the style and you, and you don't find it a struggle, or even if you do find it a struggle, you are able to get through that, then I do think it's so worth it, and it affected me so much. And just to give you an example of how it affected me, I did feel a bit like Joey in Friends when he has to go and put the book in the fridge because he doesn't like it, because when I got to the end of this book, I literally put it down and went and get, came went to my boyfriend I was just like, can you give me a cuddle because I'm really, really, really sad. Let me know if you've read this book. I'd be really interested to hear someone else's views on it, um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!